everybody, this is James Bonney 2003 here, and I have had a few questions here lately about the Roxio capture device I've been using, and thought I would do a little tutorial real quick on the editing software that comes with it, the Roxio Video Wave. Um, now so far I've had the Roxio capture device for about a month, and it has worked very good if you've watched any of my videos you understand that um, you know it only goes up to 480p but I think the quality is a lot better uh, than like a dazzle or something like that and really with some um, the right links and discount codes you can get the uh, Roxio for about uh, under sixty dollars shipped to your house and for that price I don't think you can beat what you get and this is the editing software it comes with so we'll just do a real quick tutorial on how to get started using it because it you know it took me a little bit to figure it out so I thought I'd give you guys a little heads up so first thing you want to do is go to file new production uh, you want to use the uh, widescreen because that should be you know what you're recording in and we're going to go ahead and uh, add photos or videos now this should come up default into whatever program your whatever file you have set up for your recordings and this is a, uh, just some recordings I've taken over the last week uh, what it'll do it'll allow you to select one of the recordings and preview it right here in the window let me turn my PC speakers down here uh, it'll actually let you record this and or preview it and you can see what you have recorded just to make sure you got the right video now once you've got the right one hit open and it'll drop it into your timeline here now the main parts of the screens here that I always use, uh, you've got your preview window here in the middle, and your timeline along the bottom, and then your your add content buttons over here. Now you, I'm not going to get into the color effects or settings or anything like that. You can you can mess around that with yourself. Now the first part, a thing I do with any video, uh, go into the timeline here. I've started capping before the match begins. Now I don't want that in the video. So I'll add a marker. Uh, once you've added a marker with this little plus button here, you can see it adds it into the top part of the timeline window. Now we're going to play the video out. Let's turn down the volume a little bit more. And we're going to get it to a point to where you know we want to start the video. Now typically it would be like when you first spawn in, so let's pause it. Add another marker. Now uh, you can also use this little slider here to um, you know, zoom the size of your timeline, which comes in handy if you're trying to edit out a little bitty piece. So We've got our two markers. Now what you want to do is click in between them. And that, you see the little orange bar comes up there. And you want to hit the, the cut button. And that will actually cut that section out. So we'll go back to the beginning of the video. And here's where it starts now because we cut the first section out. Now we're going to keep continue uh, playing the video until we get to a point where you want to make your second cut. Now everybody knows you know one of the problems with Bad Company 2 videos is that they can be a little long with the load screens and the matches and blah 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 blah. So I'll give you two quick tips on how to cut out some you know unneeded video footage and to speed it up. So we're coming up to a point here where I die. And I can't throw C4, so <laughs> I just got to tuck it out. So we want to pause that there, or wherever you want to pause it. You know, sometimes I'll let you know whoever I got killed by, and that was that asshole tacos, tuck me out in the tank. Uh, so I want to add add a add my for another marker there. So we're gonna cut out the um, the respawn, where I'm going into the menu, and I think I changed some guns around and. Because uh, we were just kind of goofing off tonight as we were playing this using the M1. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So we're spawned back in, and this is where we want to restart the video up. So we're going to add another marker, and like we did before, select in between it and cut that part out. Now, we'll go into the storyline here, and you see that's actually cut it into two pieces. So what we're going to do is you can actually choose between the two pieces here, and as you keep going in and cutting parts out, it'll keep splitting the video into the um, separate storyline section. So we're going to go into this part of the storyline here. 
And we're going to play it forward a little bit. Now I'm just running around, throwing some mines out, not doing anything interesting. So let's say we want to speed that part up and get it a little bit farther. I think I die here in a minute again. Um, so we get to this point here, and hey, we want to stop here, but we want to speed that last part up. Now you can just go ahead and right click the line and split the video or what I like to do is just just go ahead and add a marker because what it'll do is it gives you can uh, if you, you know, you're in a different part of the video you can actually snap snap back to that marker. Now right click on the line there, go up to your menu here and choose split. Now what that does, go back to your storyline, it split this video into another section. Now this is that part where we say we're going to speed it up. So let's double click it. And you bring up this little menu here uh, where you can actually further trim that particular section if you'd like. Or you can add speed. So what I've usually found is about two and a half times is what works for me. You can make it faster, slower, however you want to do it. You can actually even slow down parts. Uh, I did that in another video where we were <laughs> just goofing off and one of my buddies knifed one of our other guys and I uh, actually cut a section, copied it, put it at the end and slowed it down uh, just for his enjoyment. <laughs> okay, so we want to speed that section up so we hit OK. Now let's go back to the timeline here. So now as we watch this part that we sped up, there it is. The video is about double speed and you'll see when it gets to the next section where we stopped it, oh, back to regular speed. There you go, get killed again. So, I'll pause this, add another marker, play it forward to a spot where we want to, you know, start the video back up. Uh, so, we're going to spawn in, so pause it, add your marker, now choose between these two. Now, we have another marker here, we don't want to cut all that, so we just want to cut between these two markers and trim it out again. And there you go. That that section of the video has been cut back out. Now hopefully that'll help you um, edit your videos and get them to a point to where you know you can um, you know cut them cut them down on time just to make them a little bit more friendly for people to watch. Now I'll explain a few more features real quick before we end this. You have your features here or you can play, fast forward, rewind, skip to the start, skip to the ending, and then you, what I like is these frame videos. So if you want to get it to just the exact spot before you cut it, you can actually skip frame by frame, backwards or forwards to get it to exactly the spot that you want. Now, say we got the video all done, we want to add our commentary. We just go into the Add Narration button here, click that, and it brings this screen up here and you can see the mic level going up and down as I'm talking. Uh, get it to the point in the video where you want to start your, your narration or your commentary. Hit Record, and it give you a 3, 2, 1, and then hello everybody, James Bonney here, bringing you another Battlefield Bad Company 2 Squad Deathmatch. And when you're done, hit stop, and you'll see it'll take your take, give you the duration, and then you just hit done. And then go back to your timeline, and that will actually add that narration into your timeline field. Now you can you know, move it around where you want. You know, typically you want to, you don't really mess with it that much. You can use your split option again in the narration field to split. Uh, what I usually use that for is if I want to cut a particular part out, like the other day, I the commentary is good, but I kind of foobarred the ending. So I went ahead and cut the ending off, went back to the uh, end of the commentary, went, no, it's not going to let me because I'm still on top of it here. Um, went back into the end of the commentary. That's not giving me a button, no, because I'm not on the right line. And went back into the narration field, recorded a different ending for it, and then put that back in. So, or you know, recorded another couple seconds of sound, hit your stop, 
done and you can see that it added another piece of narration and you can actually bump that down to the next one and it's not going to let me because that's too close and you, so you can add multiple pieces of narration throughout your video you can also go in and add uh, background audio and sounds really easy you would just pick the sounds or music mp3s it allows you to use all type of different file formats um, choose that sound you can add it to the music track uh, replace the audio in the narration or add it to the sound effect track uh, we'll let you stack music not on top of each other but you know um, in succession kind of like with the narration it wouldn't let me put it back on top of each other but it will let you you know say you got a five minute song but eight minute video you can add something else at the end so we're going to add this one particular one just to the sound effect track because I think it was an M1 grand uh, sound so there you go you see it added it to the sound effects track let's go back and add something else here and we're going to add this one to the music track so on all right here I've got music narration and sound effects all added into the video now another quick tip is usually the stock sound is a little too loud if you're going to do a narration over top of it so what you want to do again is select the part of the video so we're narrating over this part go into the audio and you can actually bump the sound of that audio down go into your narration select it go into your volume and bump the sound of your narration up and I see that that helps a lot to where you can still kind of hear the game sound in the background but your voice is loud enough where you can hear it and when it's all said and done you're gonna hit this little button here I don't export it right to YouTube I like to actually save the file uh, of course you want to save the name of it so before we do that we're gonna file um, save as um, let's just say demo one save the name of your production go into your rendering button here this is how I have mine set up you might want to try you know different features might work best for you but what I found is the DVIX home theater 848 by 480 which is going to be the maximum resolution that you can actually create a video in and then hit to create the video and I'm not going to go ahead and hit it here but it will actually render the video out it takes it a little bit of time once it's done it saves it to wherever you have um, your finished video saving you can go into the browse here and change that and then it's all ready to uh, load up to YouTube so hopefully this will help you out get started with the Roxio um, game capture editing software that comes with the Roxio game capture device now I'll leave a couple links in the description which will explain the best place to go and uh, buy the Roxio at the uh, discounted price again this is James Bonnie and thanks for watching